Hello everybody, today we're going to be taking a look at Unit 8, Big Idea 2, working with expected value. Um, the I can statements that go along with this big idea are I can calculate the expected value or fair price of a real world game or situation, and I can develop and apply a formula for determining expected value or fair price. So to work with this big idea today, we're going to play with um, a carnival game. Um, this is like a Imagine this being a spinner at a carnival, and a player would come up and pay some money to spin the wheel, and they would get whatever prize that they landed on on this spinner. So, as you can see, there's one, two, three, four chances you would win one dollar, two chances you would win three dollars, two chances you would win seven, uh, one for ten dollars, and one for twenty dollars. So, a player would come up and pay, um, let's just say, five bucks um, to play this game. They would pay their five bucks, they would spin the wheel, and then they would get whatever prize showed up. So um, let's figure out if that is a good price to play the spin to win game. All right, let me put the thing right there. Um, so we're gonna figure out if, is $5 a fair price to charge a player to play the spin to win carnival game. So what we need to do is figure out this outcome table and probability um, of those outcomes. So we have five possible outcomes. We're gonna say those are, are X, and then we're gonna figure out what the probability of each outcome is. So we're gonna look at our different outcomes. Our first outcome, um, let's just start from the lowest, so $1. Outcome would be $1 for the player. And the probability of that is one, two, three, four chances out of 10 total chances. I'm gonna write this as a decimal. I'm gonna write 0 0.40. So this is the probability, 0 0.40, to winning $1 when you spin the wheel. Another outcome would be $3. And there are two chances to get um, $3 and three out of 10 chance would be three, or sorry, two chances to win $3. So that probability would be two tenths. We'll make that a 0 0.20. Um, our next lowest would be $7. $7, again, there's two chances to get the $7. So a two out of 10 chance would be 0 0.2 or two tenths. Um, our next lowest would be the $10. 10, there's only one section out of 10. So that would be one tenth. And the last chance would be 20. And same as the $10, there's one tenth. So these are our possible outcomes right here. There's five possible outcomes, and these are the probabilities that go along with that outcome. So even though um, you could say that, oh, it's just as likely to get a $1 as a $20, you actually look at the probabilities, and um, there's a much better chance of getting $1 outcome than any of the other outcomes. Uh, so let's figure out, is $5 a fair price to charge a player um, to play this game? What we need to do is figure out the expected value. Um, so what's my expected average payout to players? And is that more or less than $5? That's what we're gonna figure out here. So let's write down our equation for expected value. This notation here means expected value. And what you do for expected value is you take your outcome and you multiply it by the probability of getting that outcome and then you have you're going to have a number there so it's your outcome times your probability plus the next outcome times that probability plus the next outcome times that probability so what you're doing is you're adding up all the outcomes times the probability of that outcome so to write that a little more simpler than i said probably i'm going to say outcome one times the probability of outcome one Okay, plus outcome two times the probability 
of outcome two. Now, just to save space, I would do this again and again and again and again for outcome three, outcome four, outcome five. So I'm going to keep adding these up. So probability, this is outcome five times the probability that I get outcome five. Okay. And since I only have five outcomes, that's, that works for me. Um, now the easiest place to do all this work, because if you plug in all these numbers into this long equation, it's going to get kind of nasty. Um, so the easiest place to do this work is right here. You make a third column over here and this is going to be a lot easier to um, simplify our work here and what we do in this third column is we're going to do these individual operations so this right here i'm going to do that multiplication right across here and have my number here and then i'm going to just add up this column to get that whole that whole expected outcome right there so this column right here is going to be my x my outcome times the probability of that outcome. Okay. So my $1 times my 0.4, um, my $1 times 0.4, I shouldn't need a calculator for that, but I'll do it anyway. And since this is in dollars, I'm going to keep my dollars going. Um, that's going to be 40 cents. I'm going to have my $3 times my 0.2. That's going to be 60 cents. I'm going to have $7 times my 0.2. That's $1.40. Then I have $10 times my 0.10. That's going to be $1. And then I have a $20 times a 0.10. That's going to be a $2. So now I have a separate column of all of these individual things together. And you notice that I'm just going to be adding these all things up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add up this column right here. And I'll just make another box here. This is a 0. Uh, 4 and 6 and 4 makes 14. Carry the 1. It's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So $5 and 40 cents is going to be my expected value. And this $5 and 40 cents, that's my expected average payout to players. Um, so when an average player comes up, he spins the wheel. On average, I expect to pay out $5.40 to that player. Um, so over the course of time, I'm going to pay that much out. I'm not going to pay that out to an individual player. I'm going to pay out all of these amounts. But on average, I'm going to pay out $5.40. So is that more or less than $5? That's more than $5. Um, so that's not good for me. Because if a player is going to give me $5... And then on average, I'm going to pay out $5.40. I'm going to be losing money. Uh, so let's go to the next question is, what is the fair price to players? So fair price basically means what's the break even point? Um, so what price do I charge customers so that I break even at the end of the day and the players kind of break even? Um, so that is basically our expected value. So if I charge everybody $5.40 to play, then on average, at the end of the day, I should break even. So that is the fair price to them. That's what it means to be fair price. Fair price is basically the same thing as expected value. Um, and let's do a new thing. Let's see, let's see if we can make some money here. So suppose I charge, let's go with $7 to spin the wheel and I get 100 customers. How much should I expect to profit in this case? So if I charge $7 to my customers and I get 100 of them, how much would I expect to profit? So my profit, it's going to be my income minus my expenses. That's usually how profit works. It's how much money you make minus all the money you have to pay out. That's how much your profit's going to be. Now my income is my $7 that I get from each customer times a 100 
because I'm going to be getting um, $7 times 100 customers. That's how much I'm making. But my expenses is my payout. So on average, I'm going to pay out $5.40 to these 100 customers. Um, so my expenses will be $5.40 times my 100 customers. So let's take it to the next line here. Seven times 100 is $700. That's my money I'm taking in. And I'm going to pay out. So what I'm expected to pay out, $540, which gives me a total of... What, $160? There you go. So I should expect to profit about $160 at the end of the day if I charge $7. Um, so I think that's about it for expected value and fair price. Uh, thank you very much.